Hey what's up my fellow YouTubers, today I am so excited because in this video I am going to do a makeup look which is the makeup look that I have on right now and one side I'm going to be using nothing but high end makeup and the other side is going to be nothing but drugstore makeup. Before I get started I just wanted to let you guys know that this side of my face I will be using drugstore only and then this side is where I'm going to be using high-end products. So the first thing what I'm going to do is moisturize my face. For my drugstore moisturizer, I'm using the Cetaphil Daily Moisturizer Facial Moisturizer event. Then I'm going to be going in with my Clinique's Moisturizing Lotion for my left side. For primer, I will be using my Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. And then for this side, I will be using the Tarte Clean State Timeless Smoothing Primer. For foundation, I'm using L'Oreal's Infallible 24 Hour Foundation and my Anastasia Beverly Hills Foundation Stick. And of course, blend it out with my damn beauty blender. For concealer, I'm using Maybelline's Instant Age Rewind concealer and Urban Decay's Naked Skin Weightless Concealer. For eye primer, I'm using NYX Proof Proof It Base Primer and Urban Decay's Eyeshadow Primer and Potion. And then to set everything, I'm using NYX HD Studio Finishing Powder and Laura Mercier's Translucent Powder. Okay, I'm gonna let that bake while I do my eyebrows. So before doing my eyebrows, I usually like to go over my eyebrows with a tinted brow gel. I like to use the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper, and this is in the shade medium to dark. And my favorite high-end tinted brow gel is the Benefit Gimme Brow. Love these two, like they are the best. I guess you could say this is kind of like the Anastasia Brow Wiz, but this one is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer Ultra Fine Tip Shaping Pencil. And then I'm also going to use my Anastasia Brow Wiz in Medium Brow.
now that I'm done with that, I am going to dust up the extra powder. For my eyes, I'll be using the Makeup Revolution palette. This is the Redemption Eyeshadow Palette Iconic 3 and my Naked 3 palette. So for the Makeup Revlon palette, I'm going to start off with this shade right here as my transition color. And then from my Naked 3 palette, I'm taking Strange, which is this white eyeshadow right here and apply that on my face on this side as the transition color and then going in with this shade right here with the same brush I'm going to deepen up the crease a little bit And then from the Naked 3, sorry, I have to do this because I don't want to blind you guys. But I'll be taking Factory and applying that to my crease as well on the other eye. And then from the Makeup Revolution palette, I'm taking this color right here and gonna be blending that on the other corner of my eye. And then I'm taking black hearts from the Naked 3 palette and also doing the same thing to the other eye. From the Makeup Revolution palette, I'm going to take this shade right here and apply that to my lid. Taking this from the Naked 3 palette, I'm going to do the same to the other eye. To highlight my brow bone area, I'm going to take this shade right here and apply that here. The Naked 3, take the lightest shade, which is strange, and apply that. Come on, get that with you. Going back with this shade right here from the Makeup Revolution palette, I'm going to apply that to my lower lash line. And then taking Factory from the Naked 3 palette, again I'm going to do the same thing. To intensify the lower lash line, I'm going back with this shade right here and I'm going to apply that to my lower lash line. Same thing with the Naked 3 palette, this shade right here. I'm gonna go in with this shade right here and highlight the inner corner. And then taking dust to highlight the other side. For eyeliner, I'm gonna be using my L'Oreal Blackest Black Gel Liner and my Tarte Tardis Clay Paint Liner. For mascara, I'm using L'Oreal's Telescopic Mascara and Tarte's Mascara. I forgot the name of this. I will put that down in the description box below for you guys. To contour, I'm going to use Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer and Stila's Stay All Day Bronzer.
of course, going to take Wet n Wild's bronzer and contour the other side of my nose. For blush, I'm using Revlon's the matte blush. This is in the shade Divine, and Urban Decay's Afterglow blush. This is in the shade Obsessed. For highlighting, I'm using Revlon's Baked Highlighter Powder in Vivid and Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kits in Gleam. For my lips, I'm using ColourPop's Liquid Lipstick in Chi and Jerky Star's Liquid Lipstick in Celebrity Skin. Okay, because I don't have a drugstore lip liner that is similar to my MAC lip liner in Strip Down, I'm gonna go ahead and use this one to line my lips. I feel like the Jeffree Star is a little bit lighter than my ColourPop one, so I'm gonna switch it to the Kylie Jenner Matte Liquid Lipstick and Dolce K. It's not quite the same, but Hey, it looks better than the Jeffree Star one. To set my makeup, I'm going to use my NYX Dewy Finish Makeup Setting Spray and my Scandinavia Makeup Setting Spray. I'm going to put on my lashes and I'm going to do that off camera. I don't have any high-end lashes. I only have my Salon Perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera and then I'll be right back to show you guys the final look. Okay guys, I'm back. So this is the final look. Now I have to say that I am pretty impressed with the drugstore makeup that I use for this look. If you guys feel like the high-end makeup are a little bit too much for you guys, you guys can't really afford it. I definitely recommend you guys trying these out for yourself. I feel like they work just as good as the high-end makeup. I mean, just because they're high-end makeup, that doesn't mean that they are better than drugstore makeup. I feel like some drugstore makeup works better than high-end makeup. That's just my opinion. So yeah, that is pretty much my thoughts on the drugstore makeup that I use for this look. If you have any questions for me regarding the drugstore makeup that I use in this video, please leave your question down in the comment box below and I will try my best to reply back to you. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all the love and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Until next time, I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Hi, mommy. Hi, baby. What are you filming? I'm filming. Mommy. Yeah. One, two, cheese. Cheese. <laughs> hey guys, so this is pretty much it for the whole video. Oh my god, I can't remember the clock. This is wrong now.